I'm nervous. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so nervous. That's it. I'm just carrying time in front of people. I just. I am. And close the door. It's your girl to tell you now I'm back with another motherfucking video for y'all today. Yeah. So, as you guys can see, today I am shaking the motherfucking table. Excuse me. But as you guys can see, today I'm back with a cute little makeup look for you guys today yes i took out my prison braids and my wig back to the natural me y'all love her too don't do her the fuck? but yes y'all i came to y'all with a really cute makeup look that i was just scrolling down instagram and i was literally just scrolling on my explore page and i was like i haven't uploaded a makeup video in so long let me find a look and i was just scrolling and i seen it and it like jumped out at me and I was like, but this is going to be so hard to do. But I just really, you know me, got in my head and was like, girl, you got it. You can do it. Because in your world, it's your girl and you can't live without her. So it came out really good. Um, personally, I would say I did pretty damn well for me to just look at the picture and just uh, did it. I did really good. You know, all my lines are as precise as they could be. But, you know, they is bomb. So, for real, for real, if y'all really want to see me achieve this look, you know what I'm saying? This cute little aligner look, stay tuned. Okay, so here I'm just showing you guys the products that I'm going to be using on my face in this video. Alright, so first I just went in using my Honey Do Me Up Primer. It's genuinely one of my favorites. It really makes my makeup glow. Once I did that, I got my lips together with my Dr. Bronner's Lip Balm. You guys check that out. It's the bomb. And you already know, the first step to doing your face is going to be them brows, baby girl. Okay, so here I'm just adjusting my light and getting out ready to do these brows. You already know. Um, lately I've been doing a twig brow. A twig brow is like a skinnier brow. I usually go for caterpillars, but I haven't really been feeling the caterpillar vibe lately. So, this is what y'all gonna get from a baby. It's like me today. Oh my gosh. Okay, guys. So, I was so excited to do this video because I am using my brand new palette that I got for Christmas. It is the freaking limited edition Lisa Frank palette that just came out. Y'all, the colors in this palette are bomb. As you guys can see, I'm literally just dabbing and placing, dabbing and placing, and the coverage is amazing. It is not freaking extra fucking cakey and nasty looking. It's not all creasy. It shit goes right on my eye perfectly fine. Like, it looks so good. The product is so smooth. It's just everything. That palette is everything that I've ever wanted in a palette. Shout out to Morphe because for real, for real, it's the Morphe. For me they always have the best palettes they do the best thing like it's the best and as y'all can see the packaging is like a super fluorescent and it just gives me very much nostalgic vibes all y'all young girls out there i know y'all well not these days but young girls like my age like 24 and something when y'all was younger i know y'all used lisa frank color all them pages and had all the little merchandise and stuff and if you didn't I'm so sorry for you, baby, because I feel like every real bad bitch has had an encounter with Alicia Frank product in her young life, like, for Okay, sure. so with this look, as I did mention in the beginning, it is a eyeliner look. I'm not usually really good with doing eyeliners, but this time I decided to go outside my comfort zone and try something different. That's what I'm known for. I like to just find looks and just test my gangsta. And usually it works out exactly how I need it to work out. It always comes out pretty good. This time, I ain't gonna lie to y'all, it was a task. As you guys can see here, I was trying to do my top liner. 
And because I have very hooded eyes, it just kept acting up. So I just really did the best I could do with these little hooded eyes. And in the end, I'm not going to lie, the look that I got was everything that I wanted it to be. Um, for it to be such a detailed look, and for me not to have your average steady hand, I would say that I'm very proud of my progress. <laughs> Excuse me stuttering, you guys. I am very happy that I was able to achieve this look and do it. And just from looking at the picture, like I didn't watch any tutorials or anything. I literally just got the picture, looked at it, and took my own spin on it. And my spin came out perfectly splendid. Now to finish my look, y'all, I'm going to get this foundation down to give y'all very much baby doll toads. And that's going to be the completed look, man. Like, I had so much fun doing this. It was so pretty. It was good to test myself. And I'm happy that I did that. And I feel really accomplished. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, follow me on Instagram at the dot toads. Again, that is T-H-E dot T-O-J. I follow back. Bye-bye.